Hello everyone, I am Leszek Pyrka. I am the creator of CamAnim 3D, a collection of pre-made camera movements to show off your 3D creations. First of all, thanks for buying my add-on. I strongly believe that it will help you reach larger audience with your artwork and then get a dream job or fulfill your goals as a 3D artist. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it with your creation. After you bought Cam in 3D, you should have you should have two Blender files. One is with collection of installed specific presets, and another one with every other. We won't use this specific file. We'll just append action from it to your scenes. Okay, since my English is bad, I will introduce you to Billy Joe. He is just a voice generator powered by AI, but he will guide you what to do next. Billy, can you tell us? Of course, my lord. Make sure that point of interest is in the center of scene facing Y direction. You should see front of your object after pressing one on your noompad. All those camera movements are based on build in Blender camera rig. You just have to activate it in preferences. Press Shift A and add Dolly Camera Rig. Split your viewport. Set one side to be view from camera without overlays and gizmos. If you want to have vertical video switch resolution here. I recommend to use 30 frames per second. I recommend to play with it and see how it works. You have to switch it to pose mode. And then you can manipulate all of its controls and set keyframes. Dolly camera rig is very handy blender feature. It gives full control of your camera without having to create constraints and hierarchy. It is already there. All animations which you saw on Kamanime product page and Instagram are made on this rig. You can append them from Kamanime file. Now you can append action you liked or just every of them. You can filter them by target. Now you have your animations in your file. To pick them you have to go into dope sheet and action editor. You can browse them in Action Editor. Remember that you have to have Dolly Rig selected. If you want to preview your creation with sound, copy address of chosen Instagram Reel video. Type something like Instagram Downloader in your search engine. You have to make extra space for video sequencer. You can delete strip with video, we only need sound. Now you can hit that render button. and upload it to social media. You can tag me, 
I am very curious what people can achieve with it. I quickly guide you what can you do when your model doesn't have similar dimension with my default objects. For example default character has 1.73 meters and you want to show off 3.8 meters robot. First of all make a copy of animation and set fake user. By doing it you can always get back to previous version if you screw something. I'd recommend to set Possipar 2 alpha to 1, so you only see what is in camera view. Go to pose mode and select target control. Go into graph editor. We need to raise it up by manipulating Z location curve. Also we should take camera further from target. It can be done by moving down whole Y location curve. This step is not mandatory. I'll just guide you how you can deal with motion blur. If you are happy with similar result as on left side you can stop watching here. Just disable motion blur in render setting. Because if we are using only one camera for every take, we need to deal with motion blur between places when camera is traveling for new shot. In this example it happens between frame 114 and 115. There are a couple ways what we can do, I'll show you what I usually do. And then I'll show you alternative ways. As you see this problem only occur in those frames. I render animation without motion blur, and then add it later in DaVinci Resolve. Based on this tutorial, I'll add link in a description. If you are using Premiere Pro or After Effects you'll find similar tutorials. And finally if you are using compositing you can manipulate motion blur value and post-production as shown in this tutorial.